Hey guys, so recently it was my birthday and I got spoiled with a lot of plants so I wanted to make a video uh, about the plants that I got and tell you a little bit about what I've learned from having the plants in my home for the past few weeks. Uh, so here we go. Uh, my beautiful shelves that my husband just recently put up for me. A couple more shelves in my room to give me some more uh, spots for my new additions. This included, this is a variegated lipstick plant. At least that's what it was labeled as. Um, it's really beautiful and trailing and I love these plants. I have kind of a soft spot in my heart for anything that trails down and looks like that. It looks like a crazy um, head of hair or something. I really love it. I just changed it from a location in my house to this shelf here. It's been dropping some leaves, but I'm hoping that it kind of adapts to its new spot. It does have some new growth here. So we'll see if it continues to do well. Uh, and if not, it will definitely show me signs of so. And I'll, you know, do what I always do, which is try and uh, kind of relocate it and see if I can assess <laughs> and, uh, you know, damage control. But so far, so good. Um, let's see. What's next? <laughs> Okay, so next I want to show you is not really something I got for my birthday, but I am the most happy with it, so I think I will include it in this video. This is my new Monstera Deliciosa plant that I found at Wegmans for like $15, which as you may know is an incredibly incredible deal for one of these kinds of plants, especially one so big. So I want to show you, um, let's see if I can... Turn my camera. Uh, anyway, so here's the Monstera. As you can see, it's pretty big. Um, it had a lot of new growth on it. And it's doing very well in this bright sunny spot in my kitchen. As you can see, some of these newer leaves are a little bit more pale and green, but they're doing very, very well. It did have a couple of damaged leaves on it from, uh, I guess, however it was transported into the grocery store. But overall, it's very healthy and it's beautiful. And honestly, it's one of my most favorite plants that I think I've ever had. Uh, and again, I got it for like $15, so I think that's a pretty stinking great deal. I was really happy about it, and I made a couple new friends in the market about what a great deal those plants were. Uh, the next one is one that I got along with that variegated lipstick plant. This is oh, also labeled as a lipstick plant, but this looks more like a lipstick plant to me. It also looks like a crazy head of hair. It trails down. I love it so much. Let me see if I can show you. I have it on this plant stand right now. I still have this hanger on it. I'll probably take that off soon, but uh, I got this plant stand and I just really loved how it just kind of trails off here. Um, my next one is my fiddle leaf a fig tree, my ficus liatra that I got from my boss and his gorgeous wife. They sent it to me in a box at my work. And as you can see, it's one of the most fullest, most beautiful uh, fig leaf, fiddle leaf figs that I've ever seen. Um, I'm quite obsessed with it. I was a little bit afraid to, I can't get a good, there you go. <laughs> um, I was a little bit afraid to have one of these at first because I have heard that they're notoriously kind of difficult to take care of, but, oh, there's my, hi, Lola. <laughs> um, but this one has proved to be quite easy. I've just really been taking it easy on the watering and trying really hard not to overwater it and give it the same amount of uh, water every time I water it. I have it in this um, kind of cloth pot that also was sent to me by my boss and his wife. And it isn't a pot in that, um, but this kind of helps me have it, it that's not going to leak too much uh, or make too big of a mess. 
uh, and it's just super cute. So that was one I was really excited about. It was a really big surprise and so far it's been doing really well. I'm very excited about it and uh, yeah, we'll see. I'll have to do an update about it, make sure that it still continues to thrive. Um, and it really inspired me to not be afraid of anything uh, or any plant care, I guess I should say. Uh, I'm still afraid of lots of things, <laughs> spiders included. Uh, but as far as plant ownership goes, there are certain things that you've heard are notoriously difficult. Uh, ferns and these fiddle leaf figs uh, and a couple other things. And that really deterred me from you know, wanting to have them because I know what I'm capable of. But then also, I'm not really pushing myself to uh, do better or try anything new. So this kind of pushed me into that direction. And so far, it's been really rewarding. So I kind of love it. Uh, the next and last one that I'm going to show you guys that I got for my birthday, I'm really excited about. These ones actually um, my mom and my sister sent to me for my birthday. And they're freaking precious. So... I got three pots, very Pinteresty. This one says, I'm kind of a big dill. And they sent me a beautiful dill, well this one died, but I got a new beautiful dill plant to put in there. And I've used it for cooking quite a bit so far and it's been wonderful. Uh, next Pinterest loving plant, uh, it's kind of, or it's about time. This one is English thyme that goes in here. I also use it for cooking. Look how freaking cute these are, you guys. I'm just obsessed. Uh, this one is my aloe plant. And as you might have known from my one of my previous videos, I killed my last aloe plant, but this one's still going strong. I've really underwatered it and actually kept it outside uh, where it's got lots of sun. So those ones have been doing quite fabulous outside. Uh, I will bring them in to overwinter them, I guess. I'm not, I've never done herbs over winter before, so it'll be um, an experience. And I'm really looking forward to having those in my house. That's about it, you guys. Just wanted to show you real quickly the things that I have been so spoiled with lately. I will do some updates about my Monstera and my Fiddle Leaf Fig. A um, couple things come in your way as far as other plants that I've gotten and uh, updates. So stay tuned. Thanks you guys for watching. If you have any tips for me for any of the plants that I've shown you today or any suggestions of videos that you'd like to see me do, let me know. Thanks you guys so much and uh, plant on party people.